Not to mention that the original parents and the person did not have a deep friendship, and even if there is, the original parents died, these friendship may also disappear, in the end. Or interests to speak. Of course, being able to see doesn't give Tonk permission to fight this guy. Even with a bit of energy and strength, they are at a different level. Fortunately, this time Donch's purpose was not to take advantage, but rather to deliver money. Uncle Ronald, I do want to ask you two favors. Oh, you say. Tonk could imagine the middle-aged man on the other end of the phone patiently dealing with his little brat with a smile. He smiled, too, without the slightest hint of politeness, and spoke directly into the receiver. I have heard that you own an auction house, and I would like to entrust you with the auction of all the property I have inherited. Except for the villa where I live, all the shares in the company, real estate and mines are to be auctioned off. Quote dot 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 quote. There was a moment's silence before a slight undulating sound was heard. Are you sure, little fellow? Your father bequeathed them to you, and though you may gain a great deal for a short time at auction, you have much more to lose. Think again, inculcate is almost a perfect elder. Donch, however, was ungrateful and replied, I understand Uncle Ronald's kindness, but my ambition is not that, I can't deal with these things. I might as well be more comfortable with the eagle gold, please Uncle Ronald. Well, besides that, I'd like to trouble Uncle Ronald about two little things about. Now that you've thought it over, I won't advise you, just wait at home for a few minutes and I'll take care of everything for you. Dot dot dot, after hanging up, Donkey got up. He went straight to fetch some washing tools and quickly cleaned up the traces of the soul-changing ceremony on the ground with his hands and feet. He looked at the old Morgan on the basis again. And with a cold smile, he removed the rope from his body. After everything was done, Tonky washed her hands, went back into the hall, made a pot of tea, and waited quietly. Only a dozen minutes later, Donch heard the bell outside the villa, put down the teacup, came to the door and opened the big iron door, a black car looks very low-key appeared, the door opened and walked down a middle-aged man and two black men, middle-aged wearing a suit, a face intelligent and capable. When he saw Donkey, he came over and bowed. Master Don, Mr. Ronald sent us. Donch glanced at the three men, nodded faintly, and said, Old Morgan is in my study. You go and bring him down. According to his hometown's custom, you can cremate him and scatter his ashes at sea. Poor old man, had a fit, gone too soon, may he rest in peace. Yes. After agreeing, the two men in black moved quickly. After learning the location of the study, they took less than a minute to remove the dead body of old Morgan, who was completely stiff, and put it into the car. By this time Donch had re-emerged with a pile of papers, all signed, as the case may be, and handed them directly to the intelligent middle-aged man. The middle-aged man took it and put it away without even looking at it. Then he smiled respectfully at Tang Chi and said, Master Tang, what you want will be sent to you in three days. Please take care to check it. Tonk nodded faintly, strolled, and returned to the villa. He walked around and went back to his study. The room was a little scary, but it was much cleaner. Without old Morgan's body, everything looks perfect. Donch went to the windowsill, looked at the people leaving and breathed. From today on, he will have lost all his heritage. Except the villa where he lives now. Just now, he has entrusted all the property documents to Ronald's men, ostensibly for Ronald to auction them off for him. But it is clear to Donch that he has voluntarily sold down steel and some ancillary properties to Ronald. For Tonk, a tremendous amount of money must be cashed out. For Ronald, it was much more critical. He could not get his steel association project done, but he could speed it up and raise the stakes. To that end, Ronald did Donch two small favors. The first was to dispose of old Morgan's body, which Donch could have done himself. Still, it would have been a lot of trouble and probably a lot of police questioning. But with a big shot like Ronald, it would have been much easier, especially if old Morgan had been prepared to die. As for the second one, it will be revealed in three days.